When I tell people that I'm a story scientist, they often ask, so you put people in brain scanners while they're reading Hamlet? And the answer is, yes, I do that. But story science goes much deeper than applying a few high-tech gadgets to literary texts. My research starts with the goal of science, which is empowerment. Science gives us tools to improve our lives, and it does so by demystifying the way things work. To strike that balance between the hard precision of science and the subtle complexity of literature is hard. But it's what I spent my two decades as a scholar training to do. I started my academic career in a neuroscience lab where I used genetic scripting and other mad scientist tools to publish on how our neurons communicate with one another. Then I went on to get my PhD in literature at Yale and after that I continued my research on the West Coast at the University of Southern California and Stanford before being recruited to join Ohio State's Project Narrative, which is generally regarded as the world's leading academic think tank for the study of how stories work. I've used my dual training to run all sorts of scientific experiments on the effects of literature on the brain, published dozens of peer-reviewed articles and book chapters on the world's leading academic presses, and helped to found the field of story science. I've spent over a decade now doing consulting for Hollywood, from PBS to Disney, to help craft films and television series that generate more hope, more empathy, and more curiosity. I'm going to out myself as a lifelong nerd by revealing that the original idea for the book came when I was about five years old. My dad was reading me Watership Down as a bedtime story, and I was absolutely enchanted by it. And I wanted to know, how could those inert little ink squiggles on the book's printed page pop my mind with living color? And so I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to find that book someday? Wouldn't it be wonderful to learn how the wonder works?